Anita, so this is the, the physics and spacey part of the open STEM labs here on the campus. And we're looking at something called gas cell experiment set one. Do you want to talk me through what this piece of equipment is and what it's used for? So this is one of the remote experiments in the module SXPS 288, remote experiments in physics and space. So it's a remotely controlled experiment where students get to analyze samples of gas representing planetary atmospheres to try and deduce their composition and, and figure out which planet they belong to. Okay, well, I can see we've got gas mix A and gas mix B and a couple of tubes. What's going on on the board? So the students get to control the flow of these gases through this gas manifold system which has a, a series of valves and there's also a little treat for them. One of the valves is the thermal valve. So this is the valve, a copy of which flew on the Rosetta mission in the Ptolemy instrument. Crashed into the comet? That's right. So where is that bit of space kit in here and what does it look like? Right, so here we have one of the valves oh, okay uh, and yeah. it just looks like a little piece of wire <laughs> yeah, i'm slightly underwhelmed but yeah. i'm guessing it's got to be miniature because it's going into space that's right so the entire valve section is only five grams it operates on the principle of dissimilar metals so it's uh, activated thermally so you have to heat it and the expansion of metals opens the valve and allows gases to flow through Okay, so open when it's hot, close when it's cold. That's right. Okay, simple as yeah. that. So where is that in all of that gubbins on there? So it's in the central section just here, underneath that little black thing, which is actually a cooling fan, like a miniature version of the type that you have on the back of a computer. Oh, okay. Um, so there are wires leading to it to heat the valve up, to open it. And once it's opened and the right pressure is set, the heat is cut and... and is that we, what's that's what's happening with some, that alarming popping sound? So that's actually somebody who's online right now using oh, the equipment okay. and operating the valves. Um, so these are the, the valves here, these, these sort of metal blobs. Yep. They're pneumatically controlled, so they're connected to an electronics board. The students use a remote interface to operate the valves and the valves opened um, using compressed air. So we've talked about the sort of the gas management system. Where's the gas cell bit of the experiment? Right, so once they've characterized and calibrated the thermal valve, they can navigate the gas to the gas cell, which uh, is another piece of metal that sits inside an instrument called an infrared spectrometer. So the spectrometer has an infrared source, which emits infrared light that passes through the sample of gas in the gas cell. And then we have a detector on the other side, which measures a spectrum. So depending on which molecules are present in the gas, the signature or the spectrum that is measured is going to be different. So gas mix A will have a different spectrum to gas mix B. That's right. Shall we go and have a look at the actual student interface? Yes. So, that's it. That's what the students get to see. Yes. What's going on on the screen? So here we have the view. Uh, it's a map of what we just saw over there. Um, so it's a map of all the valves and tubes um, that are connected to the gas and the vacuum pump. Um, and students get to control all of these valves via the interface and control the flow of gases into the gas cell. So if I click on valve V3, oh, <laughs> here it going oh. off there. So they have control of all of the valves. Okay, so what just happened then when it popped? So that was me closing one of the valves. So when a valve opens or closes, you hear a click and there's a bit of a hiss because they're operated with, with compressed air. Oh, that's the compressed air. Yes. Nice. So before students measure the spectra, as I mentioned earlier, they do a calibration. So the controls for that are here. They can calibrate the pressure sensor, characterize the thermal valve, 
once they've done that, they can flow the gases through the thermal valve to the desired pressure to fill the gas cell. Once they've filled the gas cell, they measure the spectrum and they have um, the controls to the infrared spectrometer built in here as well. Here I have an example of a typical background spectrum mm -hmm. that they would measure. So this is uh, just a spectrum of the air in the lab. So what are all the, the squiggly bits? So here we have um, this feature here, which corresponds to carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. And these sharp features here and here are because of water that's in the atmosphere.